Hello, this is John Lundquist from Paladin Academy, and today we're going to talk about. Um, whoops, I'm going to talk about absolute value equations. This is lesson two four of algebra two, and we're going to solve some absolute value equations. So first of all, we'll talk about the definition of absolute value. Absolute value is defined as a magnitude. It's the how big something is. You have a lot, you know, you, can, you may have a lot of negatives, but it's still a lot of things, a lot of negatives. It's just still a lot of negative things. So you say it has a magnitude of, you know, negative 10, has a magnitude of 10, 10 negatives, and a magnitude of 10 positives has a 10 positives. So, and then another formal definition is that it's a distance. It's a distance from zero. So negative five is five units away from zero. Um, distances can't be negative. You can't go negative distance unless you're going, unless you're thinking of uh, a grid or so or something and, and you're you know and maybe you're you latitude, latitude or longitude that kind of thing but it's 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 a it's a distance or the magnitude of a distance from a certain uh, point so uh, let me um, so let's just take the five on this number line so course the absolute value of 5 is 5 and we use that we use these two vertical lines for absolute value and the absolute value of negative 5 is 5 now notice I'm just a little curious I'll write my fives like this uh, it's an old habit kids will see me doing a five and they go, why, why are you writing a five like that? That's totally weird. And um, that's because after writing numbers for so long all my life, it's a, it's a quick way of writing it, but then it turns out to look like an S. So I'm sorry about that. It's just an old habit I can't break unless I'm really thinking about it. So anyway, if I have then I say the absolute value of x is equal to 5. Well, then what is x? Well, x could be two things. I mean, it could be it could be 5 or it could be negative 5. So we got two answers. We got a positive and a negative answer. So we had this so in math we write it like mathematicians are lazy, so they come up with a you know they don't want to write five twice, so they they have pot plus and minus five, or you know a lot of times you could you could say five and negative five like that x is equal to five negative five, but this is kind of like if you're big into math you write it you don't want to show you're sophisticated and big math guy you write plus and minus five like that. So, uh, let's do some equation solving. Let's take, uh, no, let's start with the easy one. Whoops, well, I'll just, no, this is um, the absolute value. That absolute value. Let's say two x plus three equals negative two. Well, okay. Is this even is this possible? I mean, before we do anything, if I plug. If I plug anything in here, can I get a negative answer? There's, there's no, there's no way I'm gonna get this guy gonna have any. I'm never gonna get a negative from an absolute value. So this is impossible. So every time you have an absolute value equaling a negative, 
uh, there's a null solution. So that's a possible answer, null solution. So if we, but if we make it plus, then then we have, you know, we can have something. Or let's let's make it uh, actually let's, let's let's make it a try to get an even number out of this thing. Uh, let's make it. Um, this is my good old favorite buddy here, five. So, if you look at this, this expression right here, well, what is what is a possible, well, this has to be five or negative five, right? There's got to be two things. It's going to be a five or it's going to be negative five. So that's how we do it. We um, set up two equations. We say 2x plus 3 is equal to 5 or 2x plus 3 is equal to negative 5. And then we solve. And then we get the two answers. So I, I subtract 3 from both sides uh -huh, because this is, I want to cancel out the two th numbers next to the x. So I get x by itself. The threes cancel. I get 2x equals 2 divided by 2. And I get x equal 1. And on this side, I subtract 3 from both sides. Again, same thing. I get 2x is equal to negative 8 divided by 2. And I get x equal to minus 4. So here's my two answers. 1 and negative 4. So let's plop her in there and see if that if it actually works. So um, I'm going to say 2 times 1 plus 3 absolute value is that equal to 5. Well 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 and sure enough I get the absolute value of 5 and that's equal to 5. So that's 1. That worked, so we were good. So then let's try negative 4. So I'm going to the absolute value of 2 times negative 4 plus 3. Is that equal to 5? So 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 plus 3. And negative 8 plus 3 is sure enough is negative 5. And negative the absolute value of negative five is five. So these two answers are the um, are correct. So that's one. Now I'll do one more. So let's take um, let's see. Let's take negative eight, the absolute value of three x plus um, 4 equals uh, negative uh, 12. Let's, no, negative 16. Let's make it easy. So, now here, I, I, I don't want to, I want to solve, I want to get rid of this negative 8 first. And we assume this is a times. I assume this when I have a negative 8 and nothing between the 8 and the absolute value, I assume there's a times here. I assume there's a multiply. So I have to, I want to get the absolute value by itself before I do the splitting into the positive and the negative version of, the, of what's inside. So I'm going to, I'm going to divide by negative 8 both sides. So I get 3x plus 4 equals, this becomes positive, and I get a 2. And then I'm going to subtract 4. Well, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, this is the absolute value that. I'm sorry. So I have, now I got the, the absolute value of 3x plus 4 is equal to 2. And now I do my splitting. I say this value in here has to be equal to 2 or 3x plus 4 has to be equal to minus 2 subtract 4 from both sides 3x is equal to negative 2 
x is equal to minus 2 thirds. I uh, subtract 4 from both sides. I get 3x is equal to minus 6 divided by 3. I get x is equal to minus 2. So x is equal to minus 2 thirds. Whoops. Yeah. 2 thirds and negative 2. So let's see if that's right. And then that'll be the end of it. So let's um, I'll take that out too. Um, let's, so I got negative 8, the absolute value of 3 times negative 2 thirds plus 4 is equal to negative 16. So negative 8, the absolute value, this is the 3's cancel, and I get negative 2 plus 4, that equals negative 16. This is negative 8, this is the absolute value of 2. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16, so that works. Um, let's try, then we'll just do the last one. Um, negative negative uh, negative 8 absolute value of 3 times negative 2 plus 4 is equal to negative 16 negative 8 absolute value this is negative 6 plus 4 equals negative 16 negative 8 the absolute value this would be negative 2 equals negative 16 this is this becomes positive 2 is the absolute value negative 8 Oops, times 2 is equal to negative 16, so that works. So that should do it. You should be able to do this um, worksheet. Thanks a lot. Bye.